Chapter 1 Severed As we crested the lip of the great crater and commenced our faltering descent, we were greeted with the visions of ruin and refuse. Great fissures had rent the floor with a maze of vertiginous crevices, each of which issued a torpid malaise of noxious fumes that mingled with the stale stink of abandonment to render us dizzied as we scryed our new surroundings. Our attention was immediately abducted by the splintered wreckage of arcane gateways that sat silently, oxidizing in the odd humidity of the putrid air. Their form and function lay twisted and obscured by the great blocks of basalt and obsidian that had fallen in shattering shards from the trembling ceiling far above. A faint hum reached our skin before it did our ears, and we turned, unsettled, as muted sparks danced in the periphery of our vision. Hey Kens, I see another one of those spots where those creatures spawned from. Shutting this door ought to give us some time. There was some sort of trap in there. Let me see if I can find its trigger. Wait, do you hear that? Something's trying to break down that door. Trying? Looks like it's making short work of it. This must be the trigger for that trap. Now I'm getting out of here. That trap definitely weakened it. Time to see if I can lay the smack down on this prick. Ah, I've missed twice now. It's fast. Pillaging Horde. The monster's rage changed its focus from us to their surroundings. We watched in quiet horror as they ripped, shredded, and ravaged everything around them. No doubt all of us thought the same thing. We might be the next victims of that blind, deathly frenzy. Hank, watch out! Mm, he got me a couple of times. <laughs> Nothing a band-aid won't clear up. Now it's my turn. I'm sending you back to the hell you came from, you dirty toad. Look, some of that rubble fell away as soon as you thrashed that creature. That quake was crazy. Hell, this place is crazy. Give me a minute to catch up. It's fine. I'm going to move ahead and see what I find. Chapter 2 Shivers As the beast slumped to the chamber floor in a rippling pool of blackened blood, its final ragged breath seemed to pulse in time with a sinister radiance from the foul cradle in which it was spawned. With each throbbing wave, the pulse grew stronger as it threatened to tear apart the very beams of iron and stone that cradled us in their cavernous embrace, as though the living rock was attuned to both the creature itself and its wretched point of blasphemous origin. A shuddering wave of vibrations rippled across the expanse, and in a merciful twist, a thunderous crack resounded as a slab of ancient stone slid crumbling to reveal the salvations of a cramped passage, beckoning us further into the labyrinth. Perhaps, if we could cause it to pulse once more, it would be enough to revive this ancient automata and reveal to us further passages or means of escape. With unified purpose, we channeled our focus and prayed that the hand of providence would guide us. Nice. There's a chest up here with a couple of items. This thing looks like it'll come in handy if we encounter any more of those things. There's also a lever here. Ah, what the hell. Glow of competence. Something resembling a lever protruded from the wall, and the recklessness that comes with survival decided that we would test our luck once more. Instantly upon activation, a glare blazed through the passage, and pleasant sensations of inner strength and competence filled our minds. Whoa. In a weird way? That made me feel stronger. Not just you, Kens. I felt it. But try not to go pressing random levers without me. Finally, my turn for some loot. This bench has some neat stuff. Hey, Kens, this vest make me look sexy? Sure, sexy, with tentacles and everything. Shh, do you hear that? There's movement out there. Yeah, let's wait in here for a minute to catch our breath. Agreed. There's still stuff to look through in here anyways. Like, this thing, I guess. There's some sort of pictograph on the wall over here. Cosmic Races the monsters we encounter here seem to operate under some obscure law. I stand before a depiction of those varied creatures, meticulously positioned in relaxation to the delicate rays that extend from a peculiar spherical source at the top of the image. Ornate controls protrude from the backs of the figures, and the picture intimates that the abominations can be manipulated by these levers. Alright Hank, enough messing around with that. I think something else is out there. No way! Another one?! Howl of insanity. Penetrating howls of madness reverberated within our souls. 
There is no rest from this nightmare, from the enclosing walls, from the horrors and fears we encounter. We cannot sleep, think, or even eat sometimes. There is only pain, and this sharp, puncturing agony that goes ever on. Ah! The shrieking! It hurts! Ah, cover your ears! Hopefully they'll let up soon! I've had enough of this futzing around. I'm going after the skinny one. Ha! That one was easy. And look what it left behind. The shield looks like it can take a few hits. Watch out, Hank. The other one just appeared out of nowhere. Don't worry. I'm getting out of here. Jeez. I'm in here fumbling through chests and you're out there doing all the hard work. Whatever. This suit will give me some protection. Ah! Dumb big bird. It got me with its beak. Kens, when are you coming? I'm on my way. Get to cover, Hank. I'm gonna hide behind this door. You don't have to tell me twice. Not that I'm nervous or anything, but I'm pretty sure there's more than one monster in there now. Kens, what was that? You're not wrong, Hank. There's three of them now. You don't want to know how I know that. Christ, I'm coming in there, Kens. Whoa, this one's real ugly. Let's see if I can get a quick hit in. Got it. I need some time to recover, though. Take your time. Not as if I'm in here alone with two human-consuming monsters. Hey, I was able to cover up that space where they keep coming from. Chapter 3, Signals As we breathlessly took stock of our situation, it was all we could do to stifle a scream as the grim realization dawned upon us that we were trapped. Surrounded by the coiled pipework and arcane dials of some unfathomable alien machinery, we searched frantically for a means of activation that might yet call it humming to life. But, to our despair, despite the stunted eruption of pulse we had conjured, it remained as silent as the grave. Despite the horrors we had now witnessed, it was with slackened jaws of disbelief that we cast eyes upon what next transpired. In the very moment the portal was sealed by our efforts, it in turn wailed with a mirroring resonance as it called forth its sister opening. We stared aghast with pooling irises as a gaping rift was violently torn in the very fabric of reality, our cozy world of three dimensions now just a quaint memory. The very air seemed to shudder with malice as we raced for the dancing vein with swaths of tumbling stone shadowing our every step. Oh, it's you again, and you've brought a friend. Hey, that hurt. Shield, you better not break on me. Ha! <laughs> Straight into a pit. Guess those wings are just for show. Kens, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Chapter 4, Sundered. As we gazed into the rift's shimmering void, the dawning of a new consciousness rose within us as we stepped through to confront the reality of an unknowable universe that mocked our very notions of belief. I think it was in that moment we went mad. Color, space, and form spun untethered as though unspooled and re-knotted by the Gnostic twins of Salvia and Sativa. Oceans rose and mountains fell in a trick of chronology looping in infinite spirals and transmitting into hitherto undreamed clusters of astonishing geography. Leering faces rose out of the chaos, twisting obscenely into rictus grins, and the eyes, so many eyes. How long we spiraled through the rift, I could not say, for time seemed to cease all meaning in the wake of the monstrous vistas that surrounded us. Our frail, human concerns rendered impotent in the face of the limitless twisting expanse through which we now hurtled. All right, new level. Let's check this place out. There's something on this workbench. I've seen one of these before. It should come in useful if we spot any ethereals in here. Of course, ethereal. I know what that means. Hank, two more just spawn. Watch out. Don't you worry. I won't let them... 